Hello horror fans, Dr. Udru here, and today I'll be looking into an urban legend. Guy and a girl parked out in the woods making out. No, not that urban legend. The long persisting rumor in question pertains to the 1985 cult classic, Teen Wolf. For those unfamiliar, Teen Wolf tells the story of 17-year-old Scott Howard, played by Michael J. Fox, who awkwardly discovers he's a werewolf, and for some reason, becomes the LeBron James of his high school. It has bowling, band surfing, disco dancing, whatever this is, and enough montages to rival Rocky IV. And that's a lot. But does it, as the rumor goes, contain male genitalia? According to an old VH1 special in an episode of Family Guy, it does. The scene at the end at the basketball game where the guy in the crowd has his dick out? What? The scene in question is at the film's conclusion. Scott, realizing that his schoolmates love him for his wolfy ways and not for himself, shows up for his team's championship game in his less hairy form. Despite this, Scott's team holds their ground against their opponents. Awarded two last second free throws, a shot he struggled with throughout the movie, Scott not only evens the score, but wins the championship. The crowd goes wild, music plays, Scott kisses his best friend, it's the perfect 80s ending. Except wait, what's this? Looks like someone in a red shirt was flying low. Could it be this guy? Or could it be this guy here? Or maybe it's this guy. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Well, in 2011, on Teen Wolf's 26th anniversary, Hosts at radio station KFAN FM spoke with the Teen Wolf flasher himself, Chris Hegarty. Chris is the extra who was famous for exposing himself at the end of Teen Wolf. 26 years have passed. Talk about why you did this. Just break down the scene in your mind 26 years ago. Oh, it, it was actually just a complete accident. You know, I didn't even realize I was in a shot and my my underwear was kind of uncomfortable. I didn't realize they were shooting yet, so I figured I'd have a few minutes and tried to adjust myself, unzip, and before you know it, I have Michael J. Fox in my face, and, and I tried to zip up and cover up with a sweater. But here's the problem. The flasher in question wasn't a man, as seen in this uncropped open mat footage. And also wasn't Chris Haggerty. An explanation is probably long overdue. Luckily, the real female Chris Haggerty, who might be more familiar to horror fans for her role in Killer Workout, was approached by the blog The Movie Vigilante in 2014 to clear her name and offer her take on the situation. Back then, girls would wear their pants so tight, they would need to lay down in order to zip them up. I'd seen a few girl extras unzipping their pants in between takes and then zipping up when we were about to shoot. I believe that was what happened. Her pants were uncomfortable, she unzipped them. And with that, the case of the Teen Wolf Flasher is closed. But speaking of Michael J. Fox, What's with that kid at the end of Back to the Future 3? It means your future hasn't been written yet! This video was requested by Craig from the Half-Assed Horrorcast and brought to you by the following patrons on Patreon. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos.